Hey, what's up? I'm Lena. I'm an online weight loss coach and today we are reacting to what I can only assume are going to be really bad TikToks related to weight loss. And I just have a feeling they're going to be bad because this is like my fourth or fifth time doing this and they somehow seem to get worse every single time. But real quick before we jump into them, this video is sponsored by Element. Element is a really good electrolyte drink mix that has everything that you need and nothing that you don't. So it's got tons of salt and no sugar. It's also free of other things that you don't need like artificial ingredients, colorings, fillers, and gluten. Electrolytes facilitate tons of processes in your body, including conducting nerve impulses, maintaining fluid balance, hormone regulation, and nutrient absorption. And I shared in a video recently that I have been struggling for a very long time with hormone imbalances. And so I myself have been supplementing with electrolytes daily for the last five months in order to support my hormones. Some other reasons why you might want to supplement with electrolytes is if you're in a hot climate, you sweat a lot while you're working out, or if you're in a calorie deficit, if you're losing weight, you are. And that's because to be in a calorie deficit, you're likely eating a little bit less and you're probably decreasing the amount of processed food that you're consuming, which is where a lot of Americans these days get their sodium. So if you want to try out Element, they're offering my audience a free sample pack with any order so that you can try all eight flavors. This offer is only available through my link, which is in the description, or you can type in drinkelementy.com slash frumpyfit for your free sample pack on any order. Thanks Element for sponsoring this video. All right, for each of these TikToks, I want you to go to the comment section and tell me how problematic you think each one of these is. For the sake of the drama of this video, I hope they're very problematic, but for the sake of humanity, I hope that they're not problematic. So we'll just have to see. The reason you're probably not hitting your weight loss goals in the timeframes that you would like is because you are full of shit. Literally, the average American can walk around with five to 20 pounds of waste in their body on any given day. They're literally walking around here full of it. So to combat that, you need to be drinking more water and eating more fiber. So what that looks like, if you're an average American not moving too much, you need to be drinking eight, eight glasses of water. We've all heard that. Now, if you're active, 11 to 15, so that's about eight bottles of water. And if you're an athlete, you should be drinking half your body weight. So if you're 160 pounds, you need to be drinking 80 ounces of water. Now, when it comes to fiber, women, we have to eat 25 grams of fiber a day, and then men, you should be eating 38 grams of fiber. Now, when you combine water and fiber, they end up pushing the crap out literally so it helps clean your colon and you can you can feel lighter and a little bit more energetic and definitely you're going to slim that waist so if you found this video helpful make sure you share it with anyone that you think can definitely use the information or tag them below just to let them know they are full of it ma'am of the two of us one of us is full of shit and it's not me so listen the advice drink more water eat more fiber like not bad advice in general for overall health but just let's think about this for a second when we lose body fat it does not exit our bowels for the most part so why would that be a reason that we wouldn't be able to lose weight i see what you're saying now i'm not a digestive expert but having extra poo poo in your body would keep this like have the scale be higher than it would be if you didn't have that poo poo. <laughs> but here's the thing, if you're losing body fat while you're full of poo poo, the scale's still gonna go down. Your baseline is just full of poo poo and then you're still gonna keep losing weight, you're still gonna see results. When fat is metabolized in the body, the byproducts of that metabolism, most of it exits through our breath. So if you have a bunch of stuff inside you. I'm gonna stop saying poo poo. Yeah, you might look a little bit more bloated. Yeah, the scale might be slightly higher, but that's really not gonna impact your ability to lose weight at all. She talked about energy and just like feeling lighter so that it's easier to exercise. Like, okay, I guess maybe, but like this tip just makes absolutely no sense to me. As far as problematicness goes, like it's pointing you in the wrong direction of what you should be focusing on for weight loss, but like her telling you to drink more water, eat more fiber, not that problematic. I'm gonna go a five out of 10 for this one on the problematic scale. One of these, 76 calories. One of these, 100 calories. Three of these, same number of calories as two of these. And 10 of these, same number of calories as seven apples. When was the last time you ate seven apples in a day? I'm Dr. Gilly, I'm a medical doctor and a nutritionist. And if you want me to produce more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. I do not want you to produce more videos like this grew from Despicable Me. I really hate this type of advice, if this was even advice. Like as I was watching this the whole time in my head, I was like, and, and if I want chocolate, eating an apple is going to do absolutely nothing for me. And all you did was teach me that one of those chocolates is less calories than an apple. So another point on the chocolate side. Now what he's getting at here, poorly, is that volume matters when it comes to weight loss 
you're in a calorie deficit, calorie deficit sometimes means you're hungry. That's normal. So to combat hunger, it can be helpful to eat foods that are higher in volume because it makes you feel fuller longer. But comparing foods like this is stupid. If you want chocolate and you deprive yourself of chocolate, maybe you won't end up eating a bunch of it later, but sometimes you will end up eating a bunch of it later and then you end up consuming more calories than you would have if you just ate the chocolate when you initially first wanted it. Also, those chocolates he's holding up, those are good. Those are some good chocolates. On the problematicness scale, I'm gonna give this an eight because of how dumb it is. And the fact that somebody who doesn't understand the dumbness of it may actually feel like the next time they want chocolate, they should eat an apple instead, which I find highly problematic. Okay, I had to just like fast forward through the rest of it. I have made TikToks in response to content like this on TikTok a lot of times, and it usually makes people pretty upset at me, which is very annoying because like, I view this type of content as very problematic. Like no hate to her at all. There's a good chance she did do these exercises while she was losing weight, but just because you did something while you were losing weight doesn't mean you can attribute your weight loss to that thing. Like, you know how many people probably like picked their nose every single day while they were losing weight? Nobody's gonna get on TikTok and I, I hope no one's gonna get on TikTok and claim that picking your nose helps with weight loss. Now, it, that's a very extreme example because these are exercises and exercise can help with weight loss, but any like any one exercise, if someone is claiming that exercise made them lose weight, it's just not true. It's only true because they did it consistently, which helped them burn more calories, maybe, which helped them be in a calorie deficit. That's it. You can do any exercise you want. Like all those trends that happen on TikTok, anytime I call them out, people are like, oh, well, it's working. I'm like, it's working because maybe you like it enough to do it enough to actually get results. Or you believe, because everyone else on the internet is saying that this is some magical thing for weight loss, you believe it's gonna get you results, so you stick to it way more than you've ever stuck to anything else in your entire life, and that's why you're getting results. Like there are so many other things she probably did to achieve that weight loss, and like this video is almost, like it's just really simplifying it way too much. And the idea that doing ab exercises, all of these were ab exercises, as I fast forwarded through, the rest of them were ab exercises. It's not true that doing ab exercises helps to make your waist smaller. Sometimes doing ab exercises can make the core a little bit stronger, which may help kind of just keep you a little bit more sucked in because those muscles are now like being used and activated rather than people who don't do any kind of ab training at all. But that's kind of the extent of it. You can't spot reduce fat, so exercises targeted on a specific area of your body are not actually gonna do much for that area of your body unless we are talking about increasing muscle size. Otherwise, you just do whatever exercise you enjoy, you are in a calorie deficit, and your body is gonna choose where you lose fat from. I'm gonna give this one like a six and a half out of 10 for problematicness. I don't know, I feel like my rating system is not consistent. All of these are, the, the problem that I have with all of these is that they are sending people in the wrong direction with weight loss. They're asking you to focus on things that are not really gonna move the needle that much when it comes to losing weight. And that's what I talk about in my free masterclass. If you wanna watch it, it's linked in the description. I talk about this idea of minimum effective dose and what social media does and all these companies and influencers and people share all of this information that they convince you is important but doesn't actually get you results. Whereas if you focused on a much smaller amount of stuff but really dedicated yourself to that, those things that are actually moving the needle for you, you could get more results with way less effort. And that sounds significantly better to me. I don't know about you. Why was that so uncomfortable? I feel like people who are not on TikTok, like if you don't have a TikTok account and you're watching this, you probably think like this is what TikTok is like. Like people just dancing with text on the screen. That's definitely what I thought before I got on TikTok. And my first TikTok reaction video was actually before I was like on TikTok and enjoying TikTok content. I TikTok is where I spend the most time on social media these days. And it's not all like that, but it obviously exists and it's really bad. <laughs> but that advice was just why? 
First of all, how to lose weight the fastest way possible. Telling people that losing weight the fastest way possible is a goal that they should have which is implied by this video, is just setting people up for failure. If you expect to lose a bunch of weight really fast, you're gonna be disappointed when you don't. Or if you do, it's pretty impossible to lose weight really fast without doing things that aren't sustainable, which means you may lose that really quick and then gain it right back. And I talk about that in the masterclass too, of like, it's just like you're on this roller coaster. I've been there. I've talked to so many of you that have been there. So like, let's just not even talk about losing fat fast or losing weight fast. And then these tips, no bread. If you eat a ton of bread and then you stop eating bread and don't replace those bread calories with other calories, you may end up losing weight, fine. But you can totally eat bread every day if you want to and still get great results. No dairy, why? Why? Same explanation as the bread. Now, if you have like intolerances to these foods that are not at all related to weight loss, fine. That's the only time, I think I made an entire video on like, how to know what foods you should avoid or like why you should avoid certain foods. One of the only reasons is if you don't agree with that food, if it just doesn't vibe with you, but it has nothing to do with not being able to lose weight because there's something about that food that prevents weight loss. No fried food for 30 days. Why just 30 days and not forever? Like the other two, that's my first question. The thing with fried food, okay, let's take French fries for example. The humble white potato. Potato is amazing for weight loss. If you were to look at a list of foods that provide the highest level of satiety, I'm pretty sure the white potato is number one on that list. Satiety meaning like it makes you feel full for a longer amount of time. It's got good vitamins and minerals. It's even got a little bit of protein in it. The reason potatoes often get a bad rap is because they often come covered in other things, fried and all of that stuff. So the issue with frying we're not even talking about like health stuff right now, but when it comes to the calories in fried food, you're cooking it in oil. So there's gonna be, like oil is one of the most calorie dense things out there. Doesn't mean you have to avoid it completely. Doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. It's just something to know for your own decision-making process. So when you fry little strips of potato, you're just adding a lot of calories on there. And a lot of people don't realize how many calories is actually being added to that. If you can't tell, it kind of just comes down to calories. If you're unfamiliar with a calorie deficit and why that's needed for weight loss, you can check out this video about calorie deficits that I made, but you can, you can lose weight without cutting out any food, including fried food. It's about moderation. It's about balance. I hate any type of like demonizing of any kind of food, any fear mongering, like all of it is useless. It's not helpful. It just makes people more confused. And then drink one gallon of water per day. I hate the advice to drink one gallon of water per day. I know a lot of people give that advice. I don't mind encouraging people to drink more water because I think a lot of us aren't drinking enough, but a lot of us don't actually have to get to a gallon. And drinking enough water can be very helpful for weight loss. But in the midst of all these other tips, it is very obvious to me that these two guys have no idea what it actually takes to lose weight. They don't understand the process of losing weight. They don't know very much about food. And so in that context, I hate this tip. That one, I'm just gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because it is just like the, like when I picture in my brain, bad weight loss advice on TikTok, like uncomfortable, awkward dancing to really bad weight loss tips with no context, to me is the pinnacle, so. Thank you for that example, gentlemen. You know, all of these actually as a whole, not as bad as the last video of TikTok reactions I did. So if you wanna watch that one, check that out right here. And that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.